From samosas to rajma chawal, we eat a number of food items in our daily lives. But have you ever wondered about the origins of your favorite cuisines? Rarely do we discuss the vast cookbooks from which these mouth-watering recipes originate. So, why is it important to know where they come from? Understanding the cultural significance of our food deepens our connection to it, fostering an appreciation for diverse culinary traditions and cultural heritage. With this thought, let us embark on a journey through time with our new series Aroma Archives. Immersive stories of Indian cookbooks explore the rich culinary heritage of our country. These books are crucial historical sources, shedding light on the diverse culinary practices and lifestyles of various time periods. One of the oldest written records in our country is the Vedas, and within the Athar Vedas Ayurveda section, we find a wealth of knowledge on food and cooking. Ayurvedic Samhitas serve as invaluable cooking guides. They offer detailed insights into the art of culinary preparation, highlighting the connection between food and well-being. Ayurveda considers cooking a therapeutic practice where ingredient choices, spices and cooking methods profoundly impact health. The inclusion of food in Vedas shows the important role food played in the overall conduct of life and kingdom. Moving forward in time, we encounter Lokopakra, a significant South Indian text written during the reign of Chalukya kings. During the reign of Vasant Chalukya king, Kannada literature in the state of Karnataka flourished with generous royal support and patronage. Both Sanskrit and regional languages were utilized to compose encyclopedic compilation drawing on earlier works. Lokopakra for the benefit of people was once a remarkable composition written in 1025 AD by Chavundaraya II in the Kannada language. Chavundaraya was among the esteemed scholar and poets patronized by King Jayasimha II. Lokopakra is a poetic treasure trove preserving vanishing local knowledge on various subjects. Among its 12 chapters, one delves into the realm of food with great detail. As a devout vegetarian and follower of Jainism, the author of Lokopakra dedicates the Super Shastra segment to vegetarian ingredients and dishes that were prevalent in the 11th century Karnataka. Interestingly, despite Jainism avoiding root vegetables such as onion and garlic, Lokopakra discusses these ingredients while discussing various dishes. While the recipes outline the ingredients and cooking methods, they rarely mention specific measurements or cooking items. Lokopakra provides insight into the benefits of incorporating leaves, berries, and roots of medicinal plants and herbs into everyday cooking, showcasing the profound scientific knowledge that existed in India some 10 centuries ago. Let us delve into specific ingredients and items explored in Lokopakra that are still in common use today. Rice, a staple in South India, is highlighted in this section. The recipe emphasizes washing rice three times before boiling it in ample water and draining the excess water once cooked. This age-old method is still favored by many home cooks in the region. Traditional spices used in recipes include raw and dry ginger, turmeric, garlic, cumin seed, mustard, black pepper, and more. Many of which remain commonly used today. The spice mixture. Trijitka consisting of saffron, clove bark and leaves along with cardamom powder was used in specific dishes. Notably, chili peppers, now a prominent spice in modern South Indian cuisine, was absent from those ancient recipes since they were introduced in India with the arrival of the Portuguese. Holi is a traditional soup or broth accompanied with cooked rice in South India. Made with moong dal, urad dal or chana dal, it achieves a gruel-like consistency. A puree of cardamom, cumin, coriander, black pepper and mustard seed is added to the cooked dal. Souring agents like tamarind and lemon juice enhance the flavor. Modified version of this recipe such as sambar and rasam continue to be popular throughout India. The book also mentions common dishes like idlis and parathas amongst the others. So, the next time you enjoy a particular food item, take a moment to ponder how it came to be and the role it played in the society. Join us next time for another slice of history.